Dragon Ball family. Welcome to the channel. I am the 80s Transformers fan. You are watching George Reviews, and today we'll be taking a look at yet another freezer. This is my third freezer review in three days. Depends on how they get edited. I'm pretty sure this is probably, they're probably about three weeks apart. But anyway, this is the standard SH Figure Arts packaging. You can see Frieza mostly within the packaging. We get a good look at it as accessories. Uh, we can't see the disc from this angle. Um, on the front of the package, we have Frieza in color, a black and white wraparound image right there. Side of the package shows you more of the toy that's within the box. And the back of the package gives you some color images of Frieza and the things that he can do, the poses he can take. It shows you the disc right here that we couldn't see through the box window. Down here we have the Goku faceplate that is packed into this set. And we get a little bit of English. We see full power freezer again. Super Molly SH Figure Arts. Super Action. We got some caution to make sure you're safe in any language. Bandai Namco. Side of the box. We get a little bit of a look. Still can't see those. Oh, what? There's a disc right there blending into the background. Cleverly, I could not see it because the insert is the exact same color. Very nice job. Um, that is it for the box. Let's get Freezer open and add them to the collection. Always satisfying opening a new toy. Here's Frieza in the clam tray. Right here on the inner panel of the box, it shows you Frieza's accessories. Well, first it shows you how to attach the disc to his hand, his accessories, interchangeable heads, how to plug in the tail, and the fact that he comes with an extra bonus faceplate for your full power Goku. Nothing further in the box. Now to get Frieza out of the plastic without all the parts falling everywhere. See if I learned anything. Man, he is beefy. Wearing a confident, cocky look on his face. Nice, beefy body. There is a little bit of a wash from highlights on his muscles done in a blue. His accessory comes in two trays. There's a separate back tray for the disc. Let's take a look at one of these and then we'll move on. It is a very rigid plastic. It appears to be very well done. Very, very cool. All right, so I put freezer on the turntable so we could take a look at the contents of the packaging all at once. We get an extra set of feet for freezer. They're like in a gripping pose. We get four extra interchangeable sets of hands, bringing his total to five, counting the packed in clenched fist. He comes with tight finger blasting palm hands. He has the open gripping or grappling hands, and he has two sets of key blast hands. One set has holes so you can plug in the Kenzai disc. Frieza has a total of three interchangeable packed in heads, bringing his total to four different display options, and he has one severed tail. For Frieza's final accessory, I'm calling it a bonus accessory. It is the battle damage Goku head for your full power Goku if you have that figure. And if you don't, it is an opportunity to sell, barter, or trade for another piece to add to your SH Figure Arts collection. Let's get full power Frieza off the turntable and take a closer look. We're going to start with Frieza's face as usual. I think this is my least favorite face. It looks more narrow than the others. Expression pretty cool. The eyes and the mouth are printed on well. You see veins in Frieza's forehead. You can see the battle damage. Even though it is unpainted, he has battle damage all over his body as well as the veins popping out everywhere. This guy is very beefy. And because of the beefy body, we have this gapping in here. And uh, moving the joints around doesn't quite cover it. I guess you can bring it out like this. All right, I guess some ways you can get it to cover. At least I got it on this side anyway to cover that. But it, you can still see a lot of gapping in there. But it's not too bad. There's a little bit of blue highlights on Frieza in various places throughout his body to help bring out the sculpt, which is rare nowadays. And the scuffing continues all over his body from the fight with Goku. We don't get any blood or any dirt or anything like that. The scuffing is even under his feet. Yeah, he was out there taking a whooping at the hands of Goku. Very beefy, very muscular body. The purple parts are very shiny. And well done on Frieza. Frieza's back buff. And there's that blue highlight running down the middle. Let's get this plastic part off Frieza. 
insert his tail and this becomes the only point of articulation because his tail is severed I guess they didn't want you articulating the nub the nub has blue highlights painted on it the camera's picking that up right in here at least and look at that very nice work on full power Frieza so let's get rolling into the articulation Frieza gonna look up this far I'm moving mostly the neck I guess because of the round helmet like head is bumping in the back of his neck but we can get him to look up this far down a lot and that's activating that neck joint and speaking of the neck joint it can rotate the base of the head rotates 360 and get some side to side out of that by itself just a little bit and with the neck working with it we can get a lot of physical crack his neck <laughs> side to side shoulder joints are limited to coming up this high because of his bulk I mean these shoulder pieces right here are very huge the butterfly type joints or hinge covers actually but we just say butterfly joints can come in about this much across the body not a lot because of that bulk of the arm and the chest and we can swing it out this far and again not a lot out to the back and it reveals this giant gap when you maximize the articulation point 360 at the shoulder bicep swivel full 360 elbow bend which is a lot that's not bad considering his bulk and the biceps and everything going on coming to his wrist 360 let me check the hinge in and out hinge as opposed to up and down coming to Frieza's waist get a lot of rocking out of it and if you pull it too far you expose the gap but it is still counts as articulation side to side will it three uh, because of the oval like shape you can't get a 360 without forcing it and I'm not going to break mine a little bit of articulation on this little strange piece right here as per all the other freezes the waist area it will 360 but you expose this giant gap with certain positions I'm not going to go all the way around but it will 360 and to his legs front kick these little stumpy legs can front kick and back kick all the way full split and to the size for Frieza almost a perfect split wow I was not expecting that out of this bulky body thigh swivel is there anything in here it's a little bit of a thigh swivel it could be stiff it could be more than this it's brand new out of the box knee bend this is what we get it's a little limited because of his bulk coming to Frieza's ankle it's on the ball we're gonna get the same type of movements out of the hand to the front to the back side to side and off in my hand full 360 and it came off again trouble in paradise everything was perfect until this it comes off a little bit easily to the touch pops right back on with no problem see how well we can get him stand up without effort because the freezer feet are always weird but he stood up with minimal effort with the tail attached which is very nice since Frieza's feet want to seem to come off let's start there these are his interchangeable feet black nails painted well he's saying he has the same blue highlights and scuffing from the rest of the figure to match perfectly oh, I took the whole pig out wow one of them's too tight the other one's too loose let's try it again there we go okay something new I need to point out on this figure while I was pulling the foot off of this uh, switching some poses this leg fell off I'm pulling on this one I kind of lean on a little bit with my thumb but no real pressure this leg fell off so just want to note that in case it's happening to you now instead of being straight into the base of the foot it's like on an angle and I hate it when they do that because sometimes it works great and then when it doesn't you have to struggle with it all the time and apparently this is one of those times I almost had it I felt it there we go Man, that little angle makes it hard. Here are Frieza's new feet. So we can stand with these. And there we go. The bottom of Frieza's feet are sculpted just like palms. Very nicely done. And there's some scuffing under these feet as well. <clears throat> Let's move on to some interchangeable hands for Frieza. Pop these off easily enough, exposing the standard ball peg. Unlike the feet, the hands are pretty standard to pop on. Let's take a look at these hands. This is the blast where, like, 
you know, they usually got to brace one of the arms and they finna just let loose and you got to get out of the way. Whoever's being shot with this tends to have to get out of the way or deflect it very hard in outer space. Uh, he has all five nails painted on this hand. We, we get the vein work as well. We get the scuffing. Nicely printed palms, both hands. Next up are the grappling style hands where he can lock up with Goku and wrestle them around a little bit. These hands are equally as well done. Black fingernails, palm lines, scuffing on them if I'm getting it close enough. I noticed that my Frieza has a paint imperfection right here on his forearm and that sucks. It's like somebody touched it before it dried or something. Then we have the energy deflection hands. Ah! Or the solo energy blast hand. They look great on both sides. Painted nails, molded palms. Excellent work. Lastly, we get an identical version with holes in the palm to plug in Frieza's discs. This one you knew it was over. Even before Goku actually said it, Frieza had started resulting to cheap tricks. Now let's get the disc in Frieza's hands. We get two identical destructo discs. Frieza called them Kenzai, Kenzi discs, Kenzai discs, or whatever they were called. And they are, are, are slightly translucent pink plastic with a little bit of a red highlight. To make them look more dynamic. There's a plug right here to match the port on Frieza's hands. Hope there isn't a left and a right. I didn't even bother to check. Here we go. And this is probably the pose that I and most people are going to have on the shelf right here. And then this head that I said I didn't like out of the rest sort of goes with this where he's like grinning sinisterly. Oh, man, this is very, very nice. Not a lot to it, but still very nice. I think I'm going to leave the disc on when I go for the interchangeable heads because I want to see which face looks the best with this uh, pose. I'm going to start with the gritting teeth face and what I can see, each head is done equally as well if I'm kind of short with the description. We get the scuffing, the vein work, the red eyes are printed on well, the black lips. It's just black or dark purple, I never knew. I think it's a, a dark purple. The line work, his ears, everything is done equally as well for each one of these heads, in my opinion, on my set. So let's get it changed out. And add the head. And there we go. Next up is an even more angry and frustrated face of Freezer. The one brow is down some. He is really pissed. It's not going his way. Yeah. And of course, this third head works just as well. I have your pizzas, monkey. Take this. Uh, uh. Okay, I say what I feel is the best for last right here because he could either be very angry or actually winning and cocky and saying something very derogatory towards Goku. Same scuffing appears again. It all carries over. Nicely printed eyes and mouth, teeth. It's done very well. Let's get it on Frieza. All right, and this is the second time. I'm showing it this time. I kind of edited it out that the neck joint came apart sort of like Mecha Freezer did on me a couple times. It went back in there very securely and stayed on for me articulating the head, but it is coming out. I just like to show it in case it's going on with you. You are not alone because I know a lot of people. Right back on there with a snap. And again, I can articulate it. It's not coming off just when you pull on it, but it is a little bit of a problem, just a bit. Okay, let's take a look at all four heads together in one shot. Frieza's final accessory is a faceplate for full power Goku. He's taking it to the chin, literally. Some paintwork in his mouth. He actually has some painted on scuffing. It's just not molded in right there on his cheek. Looks pretty good. Let's get it on Goku. Here's my recreation of the elbow shot that Goku took from full power Frieza. Okay, it's time to give Full Power Freezer the size up and the rundown.
The obvious choice to kick it off is full power Goku. And here is the Frieza transformation force. And here are a couple animated comparisons. Trying to pull off this pose was a little bit more difficult than it looks. Trying to get him to hulk up and hunch over. But I did the best I could. Alright, time to close out this review. Overall, I really like this figure. I think he's about an 8 out of 10. That's including a few minor QC issues. I love the fact that he comes with a ton of hands, four interchangeable heads, so you can get a, a lot of looks and different photography and poses for your shelf for this full power freezer. Makes the fight with Goku that much more dynamic and and speaking of the fight with Goku, they give you an extra face plate to really bring out that battle scene while you're posing them on your shelf or photography or whatever it is that you do when you're just playing with your toy. It, it is very awesome. But if I had to speak to some QC issues, I had that foot come off a little bit too easily for my taste. But while I was posing them and interchanging the feet for photography, but that problem never resurfaced for the rest of the video. I had the leg pop off, I think twice. I showed it once on camera. It didn't continue anymore. But far as the neck, the neck, almost every time I interchanged the head, the neck came off completely with it. I mean, I learned to like hold it down with my thumb and it's no problem. It doesn't fall off easily, but it could have been a little bit tighter. So I do want to point that out as a QC issue. That's keeping it from being like an 8.5 or a 9. And far as expectations, I always talk about what I wish they had did with a figure. I wish we could have got this guy sliced in half. I know people are going to say, well, that's a little bit gory. But they gave us the hand through Yamcha for Dr. Jiro. While not quite as graphic as a dismembered freezer would have been, I still think it would have been cool. You know, To Tomashi Nation's credit, they gave us four excellent head options for our full power freezer but the one thing i was hoping would be packed in and they would remember to do is to give freezer the dented head when goku gave him the big elbow drop it was like whoa he dented his skull and i think that would have been an awesome inclusion in this set but excellent figure i do recommend it if you don't have it and that's all I got for you guys. Thank you for watching another episode of George Reviews. The reviews where every toy has a story.